Facebook call only ads. So you want to know about Facebook call only ads. So you, you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get someone to answer your ad, to push a button on their phone, to go directly to a phone phone number, whether it's a, a paper call number, whether it's a, a, a brick and mortar business somewhere. You want to, you push a button and it's going to go directly to the phone number. Okay. Then stick to the end of this video. It's a quick one. You're going to learn everything you need to know about paper call marketing and Facebook ads. Okay. And it, it, believe me, it's worth the whole thing. Like and subscribe to the channel. I have plenty of other videos on how to do Facebook ads, how to do Google ads, how to do affiliate marketing, how to make money online. Leave a comment in the comment section below on how do you do it? How do you want to do it? Do you have any questions, anything here that doesn't make sense to you or that uh, you want more? I'll be glad to make another video. So don't be afraid. Leave a comment. I answer all my comments. Uh, with, with the Okay, so here we are in the ads manager, right? So we're in the ads manager. We're going to go to create. So, okay, so Facebook call only ads, right? So we want to have uh, the people look at their Facebook on their phone, press a button, and call the number, okay, automatically. They don't have to dial anything. They're going to push a number on their – push a link on the phone. It's going to automatically dial a number. So we're going to go to reach here. We're going to use reach, okay? You're going to put campaign name. Okay, you're going to put campaign name right here. Uh, you, we're not going to split test. I'm going to show you how to, what you're going to, if, if you've watched my other videos, you already know how to split test. If not, I'll give you, a, leave a question in the comment section if you want to know. All right, so here we go. Um, hold on a second. What do I do here? So then you're going to go to your daily budget. Okay, now only you know what your daily budget is, $20, $100, $5, you know, all the gurus start with $5, $5 a day ads. It's it's a bunch of malarkey because it's not $5 a day ads, okay? it's Each ad is a $5 run, but you're going to run a bunch of ads to see which ads are, are you're going to try a different but bunch of different headlines. We're going to get through that in a minute, but don't fall for $5 a day ads, okay? Uh, continue. Now, I don't know what your niche is going to be. You're going to figure out what your niche is. I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'm going to go with auto repair because that's what I was doing earlier. So, but you would put up here your uh, ad set name. Okay. So now there's, there's campaigns, then there's ad sets, and then there's ads. Okay. So you're going to have campaign, which is the overall, and then you're going to have different ad sets under that campaign. And then in, in each ad set, you're going to have ads. Okay. In, in different categories, different themes, different, 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 right? So Facebook, you need a Facebook page. Okay. So we're going to, doesn't really matter which page. Okay. Uh, audience, custom audience. Okay. That's uh, we don't have a custom audience. We're going to go location. Now, here we go with the location. That's up to you. You can go United States. You only, you know, what offer you're running. Uh, if you're running uh, one of those offer vault uh, things where it could be in a different country, could be in, you know, UK, could be in Germany, could, could be in Australia, wherever it's being run, you know, that's where you want to run your traffic. Okay. Now, again, you're going to pick the age. Now, split testing before. Okay. You can, you can run the ad to all eight between 18 and 65, or you can break it up into groups and go 18 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 50, 50 to 75 or whatever. Okay. You break it up into different categories because different people like different things. Okay. Gender, you can change it to male or female or all genders. Okay. Sorry. They only give you two choices. Uh, detailed targeting. So now you can also go into detailed targeting. I'm not going to spend time on the detailed targeting because that's, let's go to the edit and I'll show you. You can put anything you want in here, um, depending on your niche. So I said auto repair. So if I auto say repair, okay, now here's come suggestions and here comes some audiences. Okay. Now I'm covering it over here. If I move over to here now, it's showing you the size of the audience that's your potential reach. But now this is telling you if I pick this one, that's the, that's the size. If I pick this one, that's the size. If I pick this one, then you, you, you want to narrow down your audience, get, get a narrower niche. Okay. Niche, niche down as they say. Okay. Niche down. Okay. So, uh, that being said, I don't want to confuse you by picking, I picked auto repair. You got to stick to your niche to, to what you know. So I'm, I'm going to try and leave that blank for now and continue on. 
here's the important part. Let me move over here again. Come down here. Okay. So you're going to edit placements. All devices. Okay. Now you want them to call a phone. So you're not going to be able to call a phone if they're on a computer. So you're going to get rid of desktop. Okay. Click on here. Get rid of desktop. So it's only mobile ads. Now they're only going to, your ads are only going to be shown to people on mobile devices. Okay. Now you're going to go and you're going to not have all of these. You're going to have the feeds, Facebook feed, Instagram feed. You're going to unselect all of this other stuff. Okay. Now I'm not going to spend time on clicking it all, but that's what you're going to do. You're going to come down here. Okay. You're optimized for reach. And let me see. Did I miss anything? Nope. Continue to the next page. See if it'll let me continue without putting all the other stuff in. Looks like they're gonna. I'm flying through this because it's all niche specific. You know, you're gonna have to spend time on your uh, creative, which is your photo or video. You know, your headlines, your copy, um, and I, you know, I'll show you a little bit in a second on how to how to copy other ads and stuff, but. Um, Basically, what you do is you go on Facebook, you search other people's ads, you, you see what's working, and you copy them. Very simple stuff. All right, so now we're down on this page. Okay, uh, we're going to create an ad. Now, this is where you would put the ad in, but I'm not going to go through that because, like I told you, it, that's all subjected to, to your niche and, and, and what you're doing, not what I'm going to do. So if I if I've started start you down a road, it, it you have to be an independent thinker, okay? So you come down here. Okay, so the, it's over here, the ad. It does, this is an old, something old that I had. I don't pay any attention to it. But we're going to add a website URL. Okay, it's very important. You have to have a website URL. I can, I'm going to go, if you want to know more about, you know, what you need to get your ads approved, because that's a whole other story, getting your ads approved. You, you, need a, you need a website. On the website, you need certain other things on the website, like terms and conditions, uh uh, table, uh, frequently asked questions, all different other websites that you need on there, uh, legal pages, in other words, okay? Uh, otherwise, if you don't have those legal pages, Facebook's not going to approve your ad. So if you want to know that stuff, leave a comment in the description. I have other videos. Leave, you know, Subscribe to the channel because I do have other videos on Facebook ads that will show you all of that stuff. So you want a website. So you're going to put the website URL in there, okay? But now what that gives you now is a call to action. Okay, and you can only you're only going to get this call to action if you started the whole process with the reach campaign, and then you're going to go to call now. You're going to push the call now button, and then your ad is going to automatically when when they push your ad on the phone, it's automatically going to call a number. So if those paper call numbers that are recovery numbers that are uh, you know eight hundred dollars for a three minute phone call when you know, the person is stumbling drunk and you know, whatever and, and is, you know, sorry and feeling bad for themselves and they got their phone. They don't have to dial the number. All they got to do is push the push the button on the phone. It automatically calls the number. They talk for three minutes. Believe me, if you ever talk to somebody that's been drinking, they're going to talk your ear off for minutes. And if they have health insurance, they're going to give all the information to the people and, and you're going to make $800 for the phone call. Okay, so, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. This was a quick one. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, that's all about how to your, your Facebook call only ads for pay per call affiliate marketing, um, and that's how you do it. Okay, so like and subscribe to the channel.